But three tiers of government is one too many, and nothing burns us up more than councils jacking up the rates and fees for little or no extra service. Well, guess what? They're doing it again. Roll up, roll up for lion and laughing clown. That is, of course, unless the council fees closes down. Talk about a showstopper. When it comes to councils, it seems not even the circus here is safe. Amid the latest round of rate rises and fee hikes all around the country, Cessnock in New South Wales is charging the circus an extra $100 just to raise the roof. Roll up, roll up for a show that's quick and funny. But what do the council want? The council wants more money. We get slogged for everything. All we need now is to be attacked once again by councils who want more money. That's just money, money, money. Adam St James from the famous Stardust Circus says he thought a charge to pitch his tent was a crazy council stunt. We hit for the power, we hit for the water, we hit for ground rent, we hit for everything. So it's just one more thing. If they can get money, they'll get it whatever way they can. I feel sorry for the circus and we all love circuses, but you know, I, I know Cessnock Council is struggling. Genya McCaffrey from the local government association was this morning defending the latest round of fee hikes from councils around the country. At least a third of New South Wales councils that are facing bankruptcy, who are basically insolvent, not technically insolvent, they are insolvent. <laughs> and we're all about to bail them out with some crazy fees and charges. Cessnock raising the circus big top will cost an extra hundred bucks. Up in the Blue Mountains, it'll cost an extra hundred dollars just to die, thanks to short space at the cemetery. And at Coffs Harbour Council, they're charging an extra twenty dollars to collect kitty from the pound. People can't stand local councils. They don't do the job they're paid to do, and now they're sitting around cooking up special ideas to raise money. It's just pathetic. Steve Price from Melbourne Talk Radio has a big head full of steam after spending the day fielding calls about another council cash grab. Melbourne City is about to extend paid parking right through till midnight. Local councils are now as addicted to parking metres as what state governments are to poker machines. It's just a big cash grab. Probably less likely to come into the city. Not very happy. This is the fairest way to provide those late night services that we now need as a 24 hour city. Lord Mayor Robert Doyle was trying to drive home the reasoning for late night paid parking. It's a small extra charge on top of what people will spend in a restaurant or going to a show. Why are you charging people for footpaths? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't comment on that today. It's not the first time we've seen crazy council charges. Earlier this year, I visited Lake Macquarie in New South Wales after the council there began billing residents for the footpath out the front. Has anybody paid? No. Is anybody going to pay? No. no. We won't pay! We won't pay! We saw similar scenes on the Gold Coast after authorities tried to charge ratepayers there $6,000 each for building a bridge. This is so unfair, I would rather go to jail than pay this greedy council $6,000. We tried. We've been trying for so long and it just doesn't work. And on a hot summer's day, I inspected bins in Western Sydney, where Penrith City Council has clipped curbside collections to just once every fortnight. You'll pay extra if you want them once a week. No, oh, no, that's... That's bad, isn't it? That no, is smelly, isn't that's it? Bad. That's bad. Let's leave that alone. Oh, jeez. Ratepayers are being gouged. I mean, council's job is to pick up your rubbish, make sure there's no cracks in your footpath, fix the local road, uh, and if need be, go and mow the lawn at the park. No, what they're... The councils are trying to maintain their service levels. And I can tell you doing a budget's a nightmare. But it's all cold comfort for the folks at Stardust Circus who'll be pulling rabbits out of hats to get round Cessnock's new fees. You're stopping off at the Cessnock showgrounds? <laughs> Not if they're putting the rent up. <laughs> and I feel sorry for the clown, but I feel sorrier for the council. And may all your days be circus days. And if you have an issue with your council, we want to know about it. Send us an email or just give us a call. After the break on ACA, the exclusive dating site for beautiful people only. We accept all applicants to the site, but, you know, the stipulation being our members need to find you beautiful.
Australia's best entertainment is here. Tonight, this is one bus you won't want to catch on Crazy Top Gear. I'm here just to make your life hell. Welcome to the final countdown, a Survivor double elimination. Welcome the excitement, new Hey Hey It's Saturday. And welcome new discoveries in a getaway special. Where in the world are we? Australia's best entertainment is on Channel 9. If you're one of the millions of Australians who belong to an industry super fund, there are real benefits for joining ME Bank.